Hi, welcome back to Enzyme Function and Kinetics. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, so here on the left side, I have what is referred to as the Michaelis-Menten equation. All right, and in the next few videos, we're going to be talking a lot about the Michaelis-Menten equation and you know ways that you can manipulate this equation to get other things like the Lineweaver-Burke plot, uh, Haynes-Wolf plot, and so forth. In this video, we're going to look at a, a practice problem, okay, something that could appear on your test, a calculation kind of problem. All right, so here's the question. Determine the initial rate of an enzyme E, this is the name of the enzyme, whatever, when conditions are such that the substrate concentration used is enough to produce half of the enzyme's maximum rate, which is 40 micromolar per second. And then the second part is, if the enzyme concentration is 10 millimolar, determine the K-cat. All right. So let's worry about the first part first, okay? Now, one thing that should really jump out at you when you see a problem like this is, is first of all, in this equation, we have basically um, four things. We have initial rate, Vmax, substrate concentration, and Kn. All right, two things to ju should jump out at you at this um, when you read this question, all right? The first thing is that um, we're trying to find the initial rate, and we know the Vmax, but we have two other unknowns. We don't know the substrate concentration, they don't give it to us explicitly, and that we don't know the Km either. All right, But we do know something else that's very important, and that's that we have enough substrate concentration to produce half of the enzyme's maximum rate, All right, and that's the substrate concentration. What did we learn in some of the past videos? And actually, we looked at the proof in the last video. And we said that the substrate concentration at one half of the Vmax is equal to the Michaelis constant, or the Km. All right, that's pretty handy because we're dealing with half of the enzyme's maximum rate. So literally, our initial rate that we're talking about is one half of the Vmax. All right, so that's really important. The other thing that's really important is that um, the Km, in this case, because we're dealing with half of the Vmax, the Km is going to be equal to the substrate concentration. All right, so I can go about this a number of ways, and I'm going to get the same answer. I can either substitute Km in for S's here, or I can substitute S's in for Km. What I'm going to choose to do is anywhere I see a Km, which happens to be right there, I'm going to substitute the substrate concentration in for that. Okay, the reason I can do that is because I'm told that we're at half of the enzyme's maximum rate, or half the Vmax, and so by definition, the Km at that point is equal to the substrate concentration. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this out. So our initial rate is equal to Vmax times the substrate concentration divided by, now our Km, I'm making the substitution, so Km is equal to the substrate concentration plus the substrate concentration. Now, this is equal to Vmax times substrate concentration. And keep in mind, just like in the previous video, that these uh, variables right here both have coefficients of one. So that means this is all going to be divided by two times the substrate concentration. And you should notice that these substrate concentrations cancel, which are going to mean that the initial rate that I'm observing is going to be one half of the Vmax. What is the Vmax? The Vmax is 40 micromolar per second. 40 micromolar per second. So what is our initial rate? Our initial rate is 1 half of 40, which is 20 micromolar per second. And that's going to be the rate of our enzyme. Now, if this question were worded such that instead it was not at half of the enzyme's maximum rate, then you would have to be given more information. Okay, you couldn't solve this like that. The only time you can make the substitution that Km is equal to the substrate concentration is if, and only if, you're at half of the maximum rate of the enzyme, or half of the Vmax. Okay? Also note, I, 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 I basically substituted Km for substrate concentration, as you can see here. I also could have done it where wherever I see an S, I put a Km in place of that. You'll get the same answer because they'll cancel anyways. All right. So now for the second part. If the concentration of enzyme is 10 millimolar, determine the K-cat. 
All right, so the way you go about doing this is you recognize that the V max of the enzyme is equal to the concentration of the enzyme times the K cat. All right, the K cat is a rate constant. It's also called the turnover number sometimes. So if I want to find the K, or if I want to find the K cat, I'm going to have to divide both sides by the concentration of the enzyme, and that's going to get me the K cat. So my K cat, therefore, is equal to the V max of the enzyme divided by the concentration of the enzyme. And that, by the way, is the total enzyme. Sometimes they denote this uh, total with a subscript of T on the concentration. All right. Now, the, the general rule of thumb here is whenever you do this determination of K cat, essentially the concentration units of the V max and enzyme concentration have to be the same. Notice by V max, was 40 micromolar per second. So 40 micromolar per second. That means that I'm gonna to have to have my enzyme concentration in micromolar because those are the concentration units here. So my concentration of enzyme, total enzyme notice is 10 millimolar, 10 millimolar. So I need to convert this to micromolar. And I can recognize that one millimolar is equal to 10 to the third micromolar, okay, because there are more micromolars in the millimolar. So there we have millimolars cancel, and so that means my concentration of enzyme, my total concentration, is equal to, in this case, 10 to the fourth, and that's going to be micromolar, okay, 10 to the fourth micromolar. So whenever I do this, I'm going to divide by the total enzyme concentration, 10 to the fourth micromolar. All right, notice here the micromolar units here and there both cancel and so what I'm going to be left with is 40 times 10 to the minus fourth because if I'm pulling the uh, 10 to the fourth up into the numerator it becomes 10 to the minus fourth and then since I have one over seconds in the numerator left this is per second. All right, and if I want to clean this up a little this is going to be 4 times 10 to the minus third per second, okay? Because if I move this over there, then it goes up to, to the minus third, all right? So this is not necessarily a realistic number for k cat. This is not necessarily realistic, but it gives you the concept at least of how to calculate it. So this number, both of these numbers right here are the k cats for this enzyme. Generally, you would report it as four times 10 to the minus third per second. The k cat is also called the turnover number. And because k cat is a rate constant, um, generally what a higher k cat means is a higher rate of reaction, okay? If you wanna find the total V max, and you have to multiply by the total amount of enzyme. Okay, but essentially K cat is simply it's a representation of the rate of the enzyme. Okay, so for for multiple enzymes, assuming there's the same number of those enzymes, a higher K cat is going to correspond to a higher V max, and also in general higher rates. Okay, not just the V max, but rates in general. Okay. So um, hopefully this made sense. This hopefully gave you an idea how to go about calculating um, the rate and then k-cat when you're at half of the enzyme's maximum rate. And just keep in mind, when you're at half of the enzyme's maximum rate, that's when the Km is equal to the substrate concentration. So on an exam, they can do something sneaky like that and expect you to be able to, um, to calculate it. Okay. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.